Hey guys, so with the recent uh, backlash and anger towards the MacBook Pro 2016, which I think overall is a bit overblown to be totally honest with you. Yes, it's expensive, but you gotta, you got to consider the Apple uh, resale value, which you should factor into your price. As I discussed in another video, you're looking at about a 30% perhaps you can get back on your money. So consider that. Anyway, MacBook Pros are very popular with developers because it has built-in command line tools. And these tools are quite useful when you're interacting with servers because most of the servers out there that people use are Linux-based. And uh, yeah, since Mac OS is uh, based on FreeBSD Unix, you got all the command line tools built right in. So it's kind of cool, it's all integrated. So uh, the uh, people at Redmond, the Microsoft people, who are now awake and responsive to the needs of their client base, it seems like Apple's starting to go to sleep and uh, Microsoft's waking up. It's kind of an interesting switch of things these days. Anyhow, so uh, basically Microsoft is now considering that and they've provided uh, apps that allow you to install a bash shell commands, command lines, uh, excuse me, Microsoft has included an app that allows you to install Bash Shell command line tool into Windows 10. And uh, I just found this article was published a few months ago. Something to consider if you're if you are a developer who is a little angry at Apple and you're looking at perhaps the uh, Surface Pro or the Surface Book I also check out the Vio Canvas, the Vio uh, Canvas computers if you want a hybrid touchscreen, kind of like the Surface Pro, which is an excellent computer. And you also want to look at the Canvas uh, Vio, excuse me, uh, Flip, I think it's called, which is their convertible, which is very cool. A cheap, these uh, Vio computers are super high-end premium, and they're right up there with Apple laptops in terms of price. And frankly, so are these uh, Surface Pros with the heavy-duty uh, chips and processors. Excuse me, with the, when you load them up with the big processors and the uh, big SSDs, they're all kind of neck and neck. If you want premium build products, whether it be Apple or on the Windows side of thing, you're going to have to pay money for it. Uh, yeah, so basically... Windows is paying attention to what developers need and they're providing all these tools. So yeah, you can have install Bash, Bash and you have a de developer mode and it's all there and uh, cool, cool, cool. I haven't used it because I have an Apple. That's one reason I have my Apple computer because I have certain apps that I like to use to interact with our uh, servers. That being said, I've been using Windows 10 uh, since it came out. I bought this Surface Pro about a year ago. Very happy with the computer. When the MacBook Air came out, the first MacBook, well, the second MacBook Air, not the weird curved one, but the, the straight one, I bought that one. And to me, the MacBook Air was one of those uh, seminal products, was one of the first, or probably the first SSD-based laptop that I was aware of. And it was just a game changer, how performant that little laptop was. And it still holds a special place in my heart. I think the MacBook Air was an amazing innovation or an advancement rather in computing and laptop computing. And why do I mention that? Because I feel that the um, Surface Pro with the sticky pen and the kickstand is, and, and the high-end cameras like this, Webcam is a really good webcam, like much better than what you're gonna get on the Max. And um, yeah, it's just a great, and of course it's touch. So it's just a great computer. And to me, this Surface Pro is the equivalent, is the 2016 equivalent of the old MacBook Air. So hopefully a little competition will wake Apple up. And I just wanted to point out, and the whole point of this video is that you do have the ability to install Bash Shell command line tools in Windows 10. So if you're a developer and you're worried about that, your lack of command line tools in Windows, do not worry, it is there. There are other options as well, by the way. All right, that's it, bye.